All right, guys, in today's video, we are going to show you how we make these super simple solid oak herb chopping blocks. Let's jump into it. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> Are you ready for this? No. We are going to mill up some timber. We're going to Nick Mills Joinery. Are you excited, Bailey? Excited. Bailey's excited. Right, let's go. We've basically got about 30 meters of European French oak, which needs milling up. We've got Bailey with us today. Say hello, Bailey. Hi. <laughs> Our thicknesser is out of action. That's why we're using Nick's place. We've got to take it from 27 down to 22 mil. Also, just while we're on the Downs Road, check out that view. Alright, okay, so we're at Nick Mills Joinery. Let's go see what he's up to. While we're here, Bailey, could you just show us what happens when you don't pay attention? Let's have a look at this. Don't do it. What did you do it on, Nick? So it's done on the spindle moulder. Thanks, Nick. Say thanks, Nick. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> thanks, Nick. See you next time. Cleaned up all the timbers. What we should have done first is put one side through the jointer to get a nice perfect flat edge, and then we could have put the rest of the stock through the thicknesser. Essentially, what we've done is by just putting it all through the thicknesser, is any 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 bow or warp or twist. Effectively, we're just planing that imperfection back into the board. However, most of this stock is going to be cut into to make small components for products. It doesn't really matter. Now that we've got this all milled up, we can still use our jointer to join the edges as a poor man's planer, which is the table saw. I've done a video on a poor man's planer before. I will put a link at the end on how you do that. Me and Bailey are going to make, we've got 10 chopping boards, just small herb chopping boards for the garlic farm. So we're going to do that. Um, I've just showed Bailey quickly um, how we do a poor man's planer. Um, so now what we've got is a board which is pretty straight. It's nice and flat. We've got two planed edges and then two saw on the side. That's good enough for what we're doing. What we're going to do now is, last week Bailey learned how to use the radial arm saw. So we're going to set it up and we're going to make, we're going to cut the blanks for the herb chopping boards. Right, excellent. So we've got we've got ten blanks now for the herb chopping boards. They're for the garlic farm. Really good customer of ours. These are usually we do a, a one thirty millimeter wide board. These are one forty, so a little bit bigger, two sixty long. Um, they're also a little bit thicker than usual as well. When we were milling them up, we got to a stage where we had a completely flat board. Instead of milling down to twenty two mil, we've got a, a twenty four mil thick board. Much better. What we're going to do now is um, I'm going to take these over and get, put them through the router, give them a chamfer, and then Bailey's going to sand them up and then they're ready for laser engraving and finishing. So let's get over and do that. Time for some 
laser engraving. And we've got the text on there, uh, along the edge. And what we've got now is the garlic bulb in the top right corner. So we're going to reset the machine. So Bailey's going to go ahead and cut all the garlic bulbs onto the boards and then they're ready for sanding. Alright, so here's the uh, the finished boards. Bailey's just finishing those off now with a, a worktop oil. It's antibacterial, it's perfect for this application. And what we do is we just we flood the engraving to make sure that's coated really well and also pay particular attention to the end grain as well. So while Bailey's doing that, I'll have a quick word um, about the Axby and Hearst Academy sponsors. We've got two Academy sponsors at the moment, Radical Machine Sales, we get all of our laser engraving uh, equipment from, and also the Garlic Farm on the Isle of Wight. Now without those sponsors, taking students like Bailey on wouldn't be possible. So I will leave a link in the description to both Radical and the Garlic Farm's uh, websites and their social media. Please check them out if you're thinking about getting a laser cutter or CNC router or plasma cutter, uh, they do vinyl cutters, get in touch with Radical. Their after sales care is amazing. If you're on the Isle of Wight, or even if you're on the mainland, uh, you can contact the Garlic Fund. They do a massive range of products and they ship out as well. So thank you very much to the sponsors. Again, it wouldn't be possible without you guys. So thank you.